What's going on guys, Joe Munoz here in another video where I'm gonna give you a nice little trick that I actually learned from a friend of mine called 12 and 12, 12 and 12. This has to do with descent planning uh, from above 10,000 feet, slowing down to 250 knots so as to be compliant with our 250 knot speed restriction at 10,000 feet. So, uh, as some of you know, I do actively fly the A320. Uh, and you know, I, but however, I also teach the 737, and in both aircraft, we have a very similar uh, descent calculation. One uses VNAV, another uses both. By the way, use what we call idle path and geometric path. But their their calculations are a little bit different in how they do that. So let's take a look at um, typically in an A320. I'm going to use a 320. You're going to see on your navigation display, on your nav display, right? You're going to see a little magenta ball and the magenta ball corresponds with the McDo flight plan page where it says speed limit on a descent and the speed limit again it's always going to be there if we have of course uh, we're above 10,000 on the descent this is the, the point where it's going to begin the speed reduction to be at 250 knots by 10,000 feet or if we have a speed constraint at a particular waypoint, you could also see this where it's going to begin slowing to meet that speed constraint at that waypoint. So let's say that at 10,000 feet, okay, uh, we have to, of course, be at 250 knots. And let's suppose now that we're not in a managed descent, but you're at, and when, when I say that, uh, really what I'm referring to is the speed, okay? Let's say your speed is not managed. So typically, you know, when we descend, our speed in a managed mode is going to have our speed tape with a little uh, window, if you will, that has our target speed here, and we can go all the way up to plus 20, minus 20, and that, ha that varies a little bit depending upon how close we are to 10,000, right? But we kind of have a bracket, if you will. And the second you select your speed, your speed is now constant without the bracket at whatever it was that you selected. So now when would be a good time if you're in selected speed, perhaps you don't even have uh, the speed limit, it got deleted out of the McDo or for whatever reason you're not seeing it, when's a good time to slow down to 250 knots and try to keep descending at the same time. And as you well know, in these jets, they're very slippery, they're sleek, and they don't really do a good job of going down and slowing down at the same time. So. 12 and 12, as my buddy taught me, basically when we're at 12,000 feet, okay, at 12,000 feet and we're descending somewhere around 300 knots, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to dial in vertical speed minus 1,200. So the first 12 is altitude. At 12,000 feet, we're going to dial in vertical speed minus 1,200. This kind of slows up your rate of descent a little bit, and then you're gonna take your selected speed target, which perhaps was at 300 knots, just as I did yesterday, okay, as I was flying, I did this tar I did this exact technique yesterday, and we're gonna select back to 250. So, at 12,000 feet, I'm coming down with a selected speed of 300 knots. I do vertical speed to minus 1200. I roll my speed back to 250, and typically, this is a very ballpark, uh, technique, still monitor your speed closely and your altitude closely to ensure that you do in fact, of course, meet the 250 at 10. You don't want any kind of violation, but this is general ballpark figures that will help you to try to plan your descent and have somewhat of a compromise between continuing to descend at a fairly decent rate while still being able to slow down. Now, if you're flying a 73800 winglets or you're flying a heavy 321 with winglets loaded up, maybe you got a tailwind, you know, there's different factors that will play into this where perhaps this doesn't uh, work out exactly, but I can tell you it does get you in the good ballpark. And yesterday I did it, I was descending at 300, at 12,000, I dialed in 1200, I rolled it back to 250, and it worked out great, okay? So hopefully you found value in this. Uh, 12 and 12 is a technique at 12,000 feet, minus 1,200 feet a minute. On the VS, you roll it back to 250, continue monitoring so as to be compliant with your 10,250 speed restriction, and it'll get you in the ballpark for where you wanna be for your speed and your energy management. We have an entire course on energy management. It is included as part of the A320 online ground school, which you can, of course, get at our website, onestepprep.com. 
And even throughout this entire pandemic, we are training still in person or virtually. So hopefully we'll see you here in Miami or perhaps we'll do a live feed with you. Hope you found value. We'll see you in the next video.